We decided we're gonna head out and go do a little deep sea fishing. And right now we are here out at the marina near Progresso. This one, this, this, this thing is huge, huge. This is not even the surface of it. So again, these are just some of the perks you have of living out here in Merida. This is right near Progresso. And we got Mr. Robert here. What's up, Robert? What's up? What's the name of this place again? You... Uh, the boat place. The guy that's taking us out is Yucatan Snook. Yucatan Snook. And we'll put his information up for y'all. We're going to try and catch some fish out here. This place is huge. This place is big, man. And the boats are insane. Got some yachts out in this camp. Yeah, do you see this joke? Got three 250s. Mercury. <laughs> we ain't going out on nothing that big, though. Nothing that big. No, we don't even have a top on our boat. <laughs> so we're going to feel the heat today. Yeah, we're going to feel the heat. Woo! Gotta bring that uh, cap with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we gotta be ready for this. Yes, sir. You'll have to do that for me. Then next time we took minnows, that was a little bit better. Little bit better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're artificial, almost 100% artificial. We'll, we'll get okay. some live bait sometimes for the target, but mostly artificial. Artificial, okay. I've never caught, I never even got a nibble off of artificial. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be blown today away today. Gonna today the going to app says 95% excellent. The other day when we were out there, we caught over 25 yeah. trout. Ooh, that was a, that was a 65% fade. And today is 95% excellent. Yes. And these cloudy days like yeah, this, like yeah. I heard fish bite well on rain, uh, cloudy days yeah. and rainy days. Yeah. Yeah. We shouldn't have any rain until later this afternoon. Yeah. So. That's what I was hoping, man. Yeah, I, I, I was watching weather all day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> one, of, one of my favorites. Right, Gary says he's ready. Thumbs up. Yeah, man, I'm looking forward to this. Okay. Looking forward. Yeah, so we about to jump on this boat with our tour guide. What do you say, we got 95% success rate today, yeah. 95 and 98%. Yeah, look. Hey, look. This place is nice, y'all. We're gonna see you. Few half multi million dollar yachts shortly. This is uh, but what's your name and you got, you got a website or anything, folks? Yeah, can you, you can turn snook.com. You can turn we snook. have a TV com. show even. Oh, really? Yeah. I will definitely point folks in the right direction. Yeah, I can have it. I only have. So the big boat right in front of us there, our initial impression was it must be a drug lord, right? Oh yeah, okay. All right. So he was saying that yacht you see right there is owned by a Mexican uh, guy here that owns the Hertz rental franchises in in Mexico. Wow. How, how many feet is that? Right there. Where? How many feet is that? Oh, that's probably eighty. Eighty feet. Ninety feet. Damn, what's it worth? Multiple oh. millions. Oh, yeah. Multi million. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It does important that you pay attention to the rules, all right? Okay. Notice how I'm holding it? Uh -huh. Way up here so I can just pick up that line with my finger? Yeah. Open the bail, all right? And then it's just a right. 
flinging it out there. And just before it hits the water, I close the bale, drive to a pie, and start reeling. All right. So when you keep pulling it in until it gets, well, you let all it of sit. a sudden you'll feel this little thunk. Uh -huh. That's a trout. That's a trout. Okay. Okay. How big a trout? Well, they range anywhere from small up to a few pounds. Okay. I, I have a little snag in this. <laughs> out. Oh, he needs to be no wind yeah, you can see the ground on that. Uh -huh. yeah, you well, actually, you could walk all the way across here with your cell phone in your top pocket and never even get it wet. Really? Oh, yeah. He can all the way down there? there? Yeah. This yeah. whole thing is just exactly like this. Wow. So I, was, I was about the one I'm yeah, like, it's always important to pay attention. Remember, it's the first fish I ever caught in my adult life. <laughs> Thank I you. Get a picture of that too. Then. <laughs> Thank you. Put the work. No, you get to hold them. See, oh, I got okay. <laughs> and you hold them out a bit so they look bigger. Anywhere. Just grab them. It's a yeah. bloody fish, man. He, he, he's he's a city boy too. You can tell. Like okay. That's a pretty decent size fish. Yeah. You just got a lot bigger. <laughs> he just got a lot bigger. He's going to get eight today, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, I can't believe you got shot that. Professional, you know, I've been fishing my whole life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My whole life I've been fishing out here in these parts. <laughs> yes, sir. So how'd you end up down here anyway? Huh? How'd you guys end up here anyway? Well, I knew for me, I was actually trying to find a place to live in, in Columbia. Mm -hmm. And uh, they st started having them riots about three, four months ago. Oh, screw that. Yeah, so I was like, me going to Mexico until things cool off. And when I got here, I'm like, man, you know what? This going to be home. <laughs> it's home. I'm like, forget Columbia. This is it. So been here about three months and uh, working on getting that more permanent visa. How long you, How long have you been here? Uh, we've been going on eight years here now. Eight years? Wow. How'd you end up here? You say you were Belize nine years, right? How do we end up here? Well, that's kind of a lengthy story. Uh-huh. Seeing we got all day. Yeah. <laughs> my uh, my wife went to school up in Ohio, uh -huh. in the Indiana area. Uh-huh. And uh, we're down in Belize and uh, sitting there on our iPads one day and She's talking about their class reunions are coming up. Uh -huh. So, you know, people from up there are sending all kinds of stuff about, you know, pictures and things when they were in school. And one day somebody puts out there, where are you now and what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And one of the guys that she had gone to elementary school with says, um, living in the Yucatan, mm. selling real estate. Wow. Well, she honestly didn't remember him. It was elementary school after all. Uh huh. But what the heck, it was a contact. So she decided... We kidding, we say it was her turn to pick. So she decided to come up and check it out. And the rest is, I guess, kind of history. We got here with the idea we we're going to figure out what we're going to do. Uh huh. We're still figuring it out. Still figuring it out. <laughs> Able to eight years later. Yeah. Wow. So I'm on my second house now. Second house in in Merida. In, yeah, here at the beach. Wow. You live in Progresso. So okay, so you stay Actually, on the I beach. Live in Chubernau, in Chubernau. Ah. Yeah, we actually sold the other house thinking we were going to move back to the States. Uh-huh. And uh, then I started exploring expenses there. Oh, yeah. We oh, yeah. That'll that change. That'll change real quick. Yeah, it will. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Hey, for most of my life auto auto mechanic auto mechanic uh -huh. then i got on with the city and became a diesel mechanic and uh got a had a friend that bought him an 18 wheeler uh -huh. and i saw how he was doing i said man you know what i think i'm gonna buy me one and get me a driver well i ended up getting three <laughs> three drivers three trucks and three, three trucks Woo! and uh loved it there for a minute just for a minute. Eh? <laughs> yeah, for a couple, of, about three, four, three years. Then the fourth year, uh, the tariffs and stuff started costing me too much, and the price though, I think it was too many people getting into the business, mm. and the prices was getting a little bit too low for me to be able to. Primary hauling. 
refrigeration. Refrigeration. I had three refrigerated trucks. And, I mean, three tractors and three refrigerated trailers. We were going in uh, 28 states. Woo. I used to love the oh, Jenny. Come on, man. Got it. Oh. 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 oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> he almost had him. Well, you're closer than mine was. <laughs> God. <laughs> he knows how to fish. I yeah. The proper fisherman right there. I guess he does. Up there going, what the hell am I doing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He ready to hold it. He ready. Hold it. Big smile. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> awesome. 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 Oh, hello. Holy cow, we all got Ooh. one. Ain't that big, but hey, I'll take it. Need you get to eat today. Yeah. Might not get full, but I get to eat. I think I played with it for like three or four casts. That's a nice side one. Pretty one. Hey, if I call him, he the right side, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You don't hold him by the mouth, do you? Not necessarily, no. Of course, you won't drop him if you do. Put him up here a little bit. Looking, looking good. Yes, sir. Uh... <laughs> 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 trying to get this crab. That's a big one, too. Look at that bad boy. I didn't know they could move so fast. Get him, baby. Get him. Got him. Got a crab. Good gracious. Go ahead and hold that one up, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> the, the crab itself. <laughs> oh, no, no, thank you. Get him in the net. <laughs> Get him in the net. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I was thinking about when I finished that conversation. I'm, gonna, I'm watching his method. He's, he's doing everything wrong and catching fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must be doing everything wronger than that. If that's a word, wronger than that. Only ship wronger. Awesome. Wow. What say he's doing everything wrong and still Basically. catching fish? Uh -huh. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, oh. That's a nice one there. Alrighty, so we just got off of this boat tour. We about to he's gonna take us to some place where they cook the food. Oh, that's right. I forgot. What, he got to cook the food. For, well, they got to fillet the fish. And then we're going to go somewhere where they're going to cook up, cook our fish. And then we're going to have lunch. Man, can't beat that. So, yeah. Yeah, they going to. So, the fish we caught, they going to cut it up, clean it up, scale it up. And we gonna up. then we going to eat it up after they cook it up. <laughs> and uh, we'll find the name of this place in a minute. And the tour guide is going to take us out there. And uh, man, we had a we had a great time out here. This is a beautiful marina, big, huge, and we just had a good time. We had an overcast clouds, so no direct sunlight today. We were protected from those elements. It was awesome, awesome, awesome. Caught fish for the first time as a full grown adult. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna happen. <laughs> 
This man here done caught all the fish. He done got all the fish. <laughs> so yeah, they about to slice them up and dice them up and clean them up. Is more than we can eat. No monsters today. I've caught everywhere in the South. They've got these trout. I mean, you've got them in South Texas. I can't believe I caught one fish. Alrighty, so yeah, so we just made it to this restaurant where the fish we caught. We just bring it in the door. They'll cook it up any way you like it. And so we actually had quite a bit of fish. And so they gonna prepare three, four different ways. And, um, you know, so we looking forward to that. As you can see, we're sipping on some margar sipping on some margaritas. So this is the fish that we got. They cooked it up. You bring the fish in, the fish we caught, somebody filleted it and cleaned it up. And then you bring it here and they cook it. This stuff is looking good. I, yeah, of course, this is the fried one, and one of them is what is it? Butter and garlic, and one another one is, is white wine. One of white wine. This is the butter and garlic. That's with white wine. That's yeah, fried. Yeah, that looks good. And it gave us some tortillas and everything. The rice and a little Ooh. salad to go with it. I love it. Love it, bro. How that fish taste, Robert? Excellent, though. <laughs> All three of them: All garlic and butter. Uh, wine sauce and then fried. All three of them are good. Woo! It's Can't the, beat it with a bat. It just it, the, the meat just break. As soon as Flaky. the fork hit it, it just break apart. Mm. It, 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 it's fresh. I mean, I never had fish this fresh. Literally right out of the ocean. Right out of the ocean to the plate. To the plate. Straight to the plate. Straight to the plate. This is one of the perks of living in Merida, folks. Living in Merida. Got, got to come check that place out. Got to love it.